Hello friends. Welcome to eLearning Campus. In today's class, we'll learn about HTML. Let's start with the introduction. HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Children, this is not the programming language. It is just a markup language to create the structure of a web page. It allows you to create web pages that contains both text and graphics. It describes the structure of a web page and consists of series of elements. These elements tell the browser how to display the content. Let's see what is the meaning of hypertext and markup language. Hypertext, a text with a special feature of linking to the other documents or web pages and the markup language that uses tags to mark up a text documents. These texts instruct the browser how to display the text. So you all have seen so many links uh, in uh, Wikipedia and uh, other Google pages, right? So the text uh, uh, by which we create the link, these texts are known as hypertext. And my markup language means to just create the structure of the web page. Now let's see the features of HTML. So HTML is used to create web pages as I told you earlier, a complete website also. HTML enables you to design web pages along with the text and multimedia. Here a multimedia means your audio, video, pictures and other media related to the web. HTML is a platform independent language children. That means you can use the HTML for uh, for any other operating system like Windows and Mac OS and other operating systems also. If you will create one HTML page, it will work on all the operating system same. HTML is not case sensitive. We'll discuss it in uh, further few slides. So if you will uh, write anything in small letter, capital letter, it works the same. HTML is a language that can be easily understood and modified. Let's start with the two basic tools that are required to work with HTML documents. So the two basic tools that we need to create an HTML document, the first one is HTML editor and the second one is web browser. So children, HTML editor is used to create and save pages, right? So we have two types of HTML editor. First one is text editor, uh, like our notepad, wordpad. Simply we just need to create our HTML pages, means uh, simple, we just need to put the code over there and we need to save our files with the extension of .html. And the other one is what you see is what you get. The short form is W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. So this is the short form for what you see is what you get. So Google Web Designer and Dreamweaver, these are a few examples of this type of editors. In this type of editor, whenever we design our web page, we can see the page side by side. The next one, we have the web browser, right? So the purpose of a web browser is to read HTML documents and display them correctly. A browser does not display the HTML tags, but uses them to determine how to display the document. Whatever document we are creating in HTML editor, it uh, it will display that particular uh, web, uh, that particular uh, page, but it will not display the text. The content, whatever we are putting inside the elements and tags, it will display that content in that particular structure. Next, we have basic structure of an HTML document. Let's try to understand the basic stru structure, children. So here on the right side of the screen, you can see one HTML page, one uh, web page is there. Okay, so this uh, I have taken the Wikipedia page so that you will understand it uh, clearly. So uh, whatever we are writing in an HTML document, we'll start with the tag HTML. Okay, so there are uh, one closing, uh, the opening tag and the other one is closing tag or sometimes we call it as a on tag and off tag. So inside the HTML tag, first we write the header. Okay, so in header, whatever is related to the content of the page, it will go in header only. Okay, so information of that particular web page will go in the header. So here you can see title, the title tag, inside the title tag, we will write the page title. Here in the Wikipedia page, you can see wcomputer slash Wikipedia, right? 
so if you want to give any name to your particular uh, web page or you want to give any title to the particular web page so you will put that in title tag next we have the body tag so the entire content of your web page will go under the body tag here so let's see few examples for example uh, you are putting anything in the header 1 header 1 header 2 we have six types of header means different different levels of header uh, h1 h2 h3 up to h6 in uh, html here you can see one paragraph tag also so if you want to write your tag or uh, content uh, in a paragraph form so you can use paragraph tag also so different different paragraphs we can create with the help of this so many other tags are there we'll see all the tags one by one so this is the basic structure of an html anything related uh, or we can say any information related to the web page we'll put it in header tag and specially the title and the content that we can see on a web page everything will go in the body part relate uh, it can be your text it can be any link it can be any video or uh, audio or it can be any picture whatever you want to insert on a, or you want to display on a web page everything will go in body tag so children that's all about today's class in next class we will discuss about tags elements and attributes rules for writing html codes and basic html tags if you like this video please like comment and subscribe it thank you so much